It is now two consecutive quarters where the Omaha-based conglomerate has reduced its investment in the tech giant Apple. During the fourth quarter last year, Berkshire offloaded approximately 10 million Apple shares, representing merely 1% of its substantial stake. In the first quarter of 2024, Berkshire again reported a further decline of 13% in its Apple stake. However, Apple is still the biggest holding of the conglomerate's portfolio. To be specific, Berkshire has sold two of its stocks, i.e. Paramount and Apple. It has completely sold its stake in Paramount. Buffett bought Paramount back in early 2022. Since then, the Paramount stocks have fallen down around 57%. He categorically revealed that this sale was completely his call. He holds a view that, and I'm quoting here, the most important thing to do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. By selling Paramount stocks completely, he has practically acted on the advice that he gives to others. Apple is the other stock which Berkshire sold. It has enjoyed the largest stock in the Berkshire portfolio ever since 2016 when they bought these stocks for the first time. Buffett's Berkshire is not only first invested in Apple in 2016, but in the process, they've spent tens of billions of dollars buying the iPhone manufacturer's stocks. So people are really concerned about what made Buffett take this decision, even when he's saying that Apple will still have the highest percentage in Berkshire's portfolio. What made him reduce Apple's shares consecutively in two quarters? Moreover, he has clearly shared that Apple still tops the list of his favorite businesses. He's named it better than two of his longtime favorite investments, i.e. Coca-Cola and American Express. Well, he's explained the reasons for this decision as well. One thing that may surprise you, but we, almost everybody I know, pays a lot more attention to not paying taxes than I think they should. We don't mind paying taxes at Berkshire, and we are paying a 21% federal rate on the gains we're taking in Apple. That rate was 35% not that long ago, and it's been 52% in the past uh, when I've been operating. And the government owns the government owns a part of the earnings of the business we make. They don't own the assets, but they own a percentage of the earnings, and uh, they can change that percentage any year. And the percentage that they've decreed currently is 21%. And I would say with the present fiscal policies, I think that something has to give, and I think that higher taxes are quite likely, and the government wants to take a greater share of your income or mine or Berkshire's, they can do it, and uh, they may decide that someday they don't want the fiscal deficit to be this large because that has got some important consequences, and they may not want to decrease spending a lot, and they may decide they'll take a larger percentage of what we earn, we'll pay it. We always hope at Berkshire to pay a substantial level income taxes. We think it's appropriate that a company, a country that's been as, has been as generous to our owners. It, it's, it's been the place I was lucky, Virtue was lucky was here. And uh, uh, if we if we send in a check like we did last year, we sent in over $5 billion to the U.S. federal government. And if 800 other companies had done the same thing, no other person in the United States would have had to pay a dime of federal taxes, other income taxes, no social security taxes. Taxes, no estate taxes, no, it's open down the line. Now, that's, that's a, I would, I would like to, I, I hope things develop well enough with Berkshire that we, we stay we're in the 800 club with, and, uh, and maybe even move up a few notches. Uh, it doesn't bother me in the least uh, to write that check. And uh, I would really hope with the, all the America's done for all of you, it shouldn't bother you that we do it. And if I'm doing it at 21% this year, and we're doing it at a higher, higher percentage later on. I don't think you'll actually mind the fact that uh, we sold a little apple this year. Starting with increasing taxes and fiscal deficits. He categorically said that the government has been taking a reasonable amount of what Berkshire has been earning. Considering the fiscal deficit, this percentage may seem to increase. So far in 2024, the government has collected a revenue of $2.2 trillion, while the expenditure has been $3.3 trillion. Therefore, in the first quarter of 2024, it has left the government with a deficit of $1.1 trillion. There are ways, however, where the government can reduce its expenditures. Increased tax rates is the most reasonable and under-consideration way of getting the surplus amount. Since the last two decades have seen lower tax rates reaching all the way down to 0%, higher tax rates are considered unpopular now. Therefore, 
Buffett hopes to save some of that amount by selling the Apple stocks. Otherwise, Berkshire would have lost a lot in paying higher taxes in the coming days. When I look at the alternative, what's available in the equity markets, and I look at the composition of what's going on in the world, uh, uh, we find it quite attractive. In and the second reason, cash is an investment. He's not seeking cash since he already has a huge cash pile of $189 billion available with him, in addition to the short-term treasury bills that constitute 36% of his portfolio. He actually wants cash as an investment opportunity. He's looking forward to having cash to allocate it to earn returns via short-term treasury bills, which currently are yielding 5%, which is a very good return. It's specifically in the current scenario where stocks are too high to be bought, and their price-to-earnings ratio is 28. They have to grow reasonably to provide their buyers with a return equivalent to the T-bills, which, by the way, are risk-free. So now, considering Buffett's huge selling activity, while at the same time Berkshire's keeping huge piles of cash, what does this mean about what Buffett's seeing? Does he think that the market's overvalued or in a bubble? I don't really think of whether it's similar to 1999, because I'm not that good on chronology anyway, unless something really dramatic happened. He's not making any comparisons between the current market and past bubbles. All he's concerned about is having enough cash to be sidelined so that whenever he finds an attractive opportunity, he'll be quick enough to take advantage of it. He, along with Munger, has never been into stocks, but into businesses. He specifically said, and I'm quoting him here, that's the story of why we own American Express, which is a wonderful business. We own Coca-Cola, which is a wonderful business. And we own Apple, which is an even better business. And we will own, unless something really extraordinary happens, we will own Apple and American Express and Coca-Cola. At the moment, he's only focused on having cash in order to exploit the opportunity of buying cheap stocks that can then turn around into huge revenues in the event of a market crash. He indirectly has shared his fear that the market does not seem that it will be staying up in the coming days. I should just throw this out there since there's been speculation on it. We've sold them. Hey, I was 100% responsible for the Paramount decision. I read speculation that, that one of them, either Ted or Todd, had some involvement in that. No, it was 100% my decision. And uh, we sold it all and we lost quite a bit of money. And, and, uh, and that happens in this business too. But uh, actually owning Paramount um, made me think even further. Uh, I like to think deeper, but I certainly won't look uh, harder even about, about the whole question of what people do with their leisure time and, and uh, you know, what the governing principles are of running an entertainment business of any sort, whether it's sports or movies or whatever it might be. And uh, I think I'm smarter now than... I was a year or two, a couple years ago, but I also think I'm poor because I acquired the knowledge in the manner I did. But uh, uh, if, it, if I just want to be very clear that, if it, that A, we lost money on Paramount, and B, you know, I did it all by myself, folks. <laughs> <laughs>